Hey people, what's going on? Ryan White for High Point Music's online guitar tutorials. And today, as you just seen there, I was mucking around with the monkeys tune, me and Magdalena. So we've had a request from a viewer on the channel looking to have a cool way or a cool arrangement where they can play this tune. So we've put this one together for him out there so we can start practicing up. And you people as well can start enjoying this really, really luscious tune. It's got me feeling really vibed out and relaxed. So let's drop this introduction, people. I'll see you guys on the other side, we'll start breaking it all down. Okay, people, so before we get started, just wanna mention our free four-week beginner program we've currently got up on the website. If yourself or you know of anybody who's looking to kickstart their guitar playing, we've got some awesome resources up there. All you gotta do is it's free at the moment if you sign up for our email newsletter. So jump, follow the links below. You can check that one out and start your guitar playing journey. So let's jump in and look at what we've got today. So there's three parts which we're gonna break down that you need to be able to play all the way through this tune. Really mellow, really beautiful one based on the following chords. We've got C major, G, and then in the chorus section, we've just got a D, C major nine, and then back to a G. But the way we're gonna be approaching this three parts, I figured out we can simplify this tune into as well as we're gonna arrange our fingers in a certain way to allow our first and our fourth fingers to be able to play around, manipulate the melody to get that really nice piano theme across. So let's jump in and check out the first part we're gonna look at people, which is this one here, so. Alright cool, so what I'm doing there is I'm using a G major chord but I've got my second and my third finger placed like that and what we're doing is we're only strumming all the way through to the B string so we're leaving off the E string which would make it a G major 6 so I'm going bass chord through to that B string like that so bass chord okay then we're following on from that next step there people so we go bass chord hit our B string, come up to the D string, strike it with our first finger, we're hammering on. So it goes one, two, three, four, like that. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and, and then we're hitting the open G right underneath it. So let's put that together. So one, two, three, four, and, once more, bass chord. And then following on from that bit, people, I've just put in a little fill, which is our G and D string like that. So it goes one, two, three, four, and back like that. So one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven. So you do that quite fast, so it'll be one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, like that, three. All right, so once we've got that bit together, people, we're then with our left hand, we're moving into our C major position here. All right, so we've got our first finger on the first fret on the B string, second finger on the second fret on the D string, third fingers on the third fret on the A string, like that. And then what's going on, we go from the G, And then we come to our C major position. So you strum through the chord from the A string to the B string. So that's like that. So one, remove our first finger on the B string, hit the G and B like that. So it's one, two. So taking our first finger off on the second strike and simply placing our first finger back on for the third one and then off for the fourth. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven. I'll run that again. So bass chord, six, seven. And we'll just run that round in the loop a few times, okay? 
6, 7, C major, bass chord. Cool, so that's the intro sequence, the guitar part combined with that really nice piano melody. So cool thing you could do with as a variation going into the verse, you go. Okay, so instead of hitting our C major and going, you can just hit your C major and then go up to our A string, hands off. So open, second fret, third finger on the third fret on the A. And then that little ascending bass line will lead you perfectly into the verse. So that's an option you could use there on the last time through. But once you've actually got that bit together sounding really good, that leads us straight into the verse part where we've just got one, two, that strumming pattern. Back to C. To G. So using our fingers like we've done there, that is going to give us the flexibility to be able to implement that little melodic theme anytime we want. So quite simply people, what we've got going on with that strumming pattern is it's just one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, that's the rhythm there. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So just really laid back. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So we do that on the C major. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then when we get to our G major, you can keep that strumming pattern either going or you can revert back to what we did in the introduction where we went bass chord. And instead of switching to our C major, you just drop your first finger into that position that we had it in for the C major, which is our first fret on the B string, and you can hit the G and the B strings together going like that, which all together would be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, G. Back to C. Two. Three, four, five, bass chord. Okay, so that's a variation with the verse. So it still implements that melody, but it uses it in a different way, mainly over the G major instead of the C major. So once we've got all that sounding really, really smooth, the chorus section, quite simply, people, is just D major, C major nine, and G major. If you wanted to, in that part, you could go D major, C major 9, and use our G like that. Okay, so you've got that option there available to you as well. Let's break down these chords. So D major really quickly, first finger on the second fret on the G, second finger on the second fret on the E string, third finger on the third fret on the B, bass note on the D string here, so one, two, three, four, five, like that, into our C major nine, okay, which is our first finger on the D string, second fret, second finger on the A string, third fret, third finger on the B string on the third fret, fourth finger on the E string on the third fret as well. Bass note from here, so one, two, three, four, five, so exactly the same with that strumming pattern. And then if you wanted to play a full open chord G major there, you just simply take your first and second fingers, slide them up a string each, and then you've got that. You can access quite simply with your fingers and implementing that same strumming pattern. Cool people, so that's all the parts you're going to need to be able to play Me and Magdalena by the Monkees. Really surprising for me because I haven't heard this tune before, it was requested. It's a really beautiful, really nice tune. Great lyrics and a really awesome vibe with this one. So I hope you guys get a heap of enjoyment out of this one, playing along, getting those cool little melody parts under your fingers with your chord progression.
So if you appreciate the value of this content, people, hit those like, subscribe, and share buttons as well. If you'd like to show your appreciation for the content we're producing on our channel, you can support us via our Patreon account. We have base level memberships as low as $2 a month that help us with our studio costs, our editing, our production costs, everything that goes into making the YouTube channel flow nice and smoothly. And if you've got any questions or requests like our viewer today, you can drop them in the comment section below. We'll get onto those, get back to you as soon as possible. We love hearing from you people out there and seeing how we can help you with your guitar playing and help you become the best musician that you're capable of becoming. And on that note, people, if you'd like to get my help personally with any channel, Challenges you are facing with your guitar playing, you can follow the links below and book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with yours truly where I'll assess your challenges and come up with a tailored plan to get from where you are to where you want to be in the shortest possible time. Practice this one up people, it's been a lot of fun putting this one together and I'm going to see you all in future videos.